persona non fucking grata, me. The outsider. I had a right to access whenever. Do you understand me? He took that away from me. Everything that I had, he denied it to me. Get off the lawn. External man. Hot, too cold. Ice and fog and heat and sweat. They took me for granted, they treat me like a dog. Mr. Blank man. He says, I've been lurking too near his apartment. Me lurking? I've never lurked anywhere in my life. So I think, being an ex-policeman, I think he's got something to hide in. And I'm going to find out what it is. Because I'm an ex-cop at me. Ex-army as well. Ex-husband. Ex-father. Ex-pleading everything. So we lodged an official complaint anyway. And they erased my face from the black box database. Switched it off. They turned the machine against me. And all because this little shit has got something to hide and he's terrified that I'm gonna find out what it is he's hiding. So I told him there was something wrong in the basement and uh, he come down with me to have a look. I just grabbed his neck, twisted it. It's the army training, many moons ago. Then I took my scalpel and my scissors and cut his face off. And I put it over mine. It was all warm, wet. And I showed it to the scanner. And bing bong in the building. So I got up to his flat. I still had his face on. It's like it's all wet now and cold. Like a piece of meat. So I took it off and bagged it up. And I give it to a dog down the road. Et it. Nice dog. Doberman. Man's best friend. And do you know what he had in his flat when I got in there? Do you know what it was he was trying to hide? Nothing. There was nothing in there. Nothing in the flat. A mattress, that was it, a bed. It was just a fucking crash pad. It wasn't even a fuck pad. You know, there was a bed, that was it, nothing else. So I got in the bed. And I went straight to sleep. It was nice. You know, nice place to be. It's uh, quiet and it was peaceful. I think I'd give him what he wanted, really. <laughs>